George, a frustration of an injury, but great news about a new long-term contract at the club. Great news for the club, I presume great news for you as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm really happy and I'm proud and privileged to have signed a new contract at this football club. And um, as you say, looking forward to to creating more good, happy memories at this place. Yeah, I think we sat down just over a year ago when, when you signed another one to take us th uh, through to the, a little bit. Now you're here till June, June 2025 at least. Is that recognition of, of the progress you've made even within that last 12 months? Yeah, it's definitely nice to be given um, a contract of this length. Um, I feel as though I've made good improvements over the last year and, and that's down to myself, my family and friends, but also the coaching staff and, and my teammates, you know, pushing each other daily and trying to, to improve myself on the pitch, away from the pitch and, and all those kind of things. I know last year was your first taste of League One, this year you looked to have gone up a level again. You had a great run in the side uh, so far this season until the injury unfortunately. Pleased with the form and, and the contribution you've been able to make? Yeah, I was happy with how I was playing. Um, I tried to come back in the summer for pre-season, really um, ready and raring to go sort of thing and try and take that in into the League One season and, and I felt as though I was playing well and the team was playing well. Um, up until I got injured, which is obviously frustrating, but I'm happy with my contribution, yeah. Good man. It is a long-term deal though, and in that period of time, hopefully the club will keep progressing, I'm sure it will, and, and you are keen, and you know now you're going to be a part of that. Yeah, um, 100%. Look, the um, ever since I've been here with the new manager, um, he's kind of been on, on a rise and a journey, and, and he's so ambitious that I can only see the club keeping on progressing. Um, you know, the things we're doing on the training ground, the way he strives for perfection, uh, it's really good to be part of that. Yeah, we've talked about your personal journey before, of course, coming from Longridge to the club as a League Two club and the clubs as well. It's come a long way fast, both club and, and yourself, and as you say, it looks like it's only going one way. You're sitting here in the top six in, in League One. Everything in your world must be rosy. Um, yeah, when you look back and take a bit of a seat and and reflect on, on those times of what's kind of happened in, in the last couple of years. Things have gone up on an up, well, upwards, upwards trajectory, I suppose. And, um, you know, as, as I just mentioned there, the way the, the club is rising, um, if we continue at this current rate, then we're only going to try and get to that next level and, and hopefully kick on again. Yeah, unfortunately, a little bit of a blip just in with injury. Part and parcel of the game, of course, but it's frustrating. Because, so you've had a good run of games. You're probably just going to have to sit it out for a couple of months. How are you feeling? Yeah, um, I'm okay. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since the incident now. But as a footballer, if you go through your career without getting an injury, then you've done very, very well for yourself. So it's part and parcel of the game. Um, I've got to just take it in my stride to, to become even better and, and be tunnel visioned and kind of just get ready for, for when I may be uh, ready to be back in competitive action. Yeah, you've got to be selfish up to a point in football and I know your energies will be about getting fit but you become a supporter for a couple of months I know you'll be around the lads at the dress, at the, chain, at the training ground and uh, come match day I know you'll be sitting in the stands uh, packing them. 100% the group is uh, tight knit and we all want the best for one another whether you start in the game or coming on from, coming on from the bench and, and the lads that are injured or not involved we're all pulling together and, and I'll definitely be supporting them because the extra support may help get them over the line but they've got an abundance of quality in there to, to pick up points and, and keep as well on track. Yeah, as you have the depth and, and the talent within the squad, we talk about Christmas being a key period and we're coming up to that now. You, I know you'll be back in the boys, as you say, to keep getting the results staying in around the top six, uh, ready for your return. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, I suppose, um, cliche really, around Christmas time you kind of see how the table will unfold for the back end of the season and I have no doubts the boys will be focusing on each and every game try to pick up as many points as possible because we want to be in that pack come uh, April and May. You want to add a bit more Christmas dinner or are you going to be 100% dedicated to, to the fitness regime they've given you? Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Still on the record. <laughs> yeah, um, no, obviously I've got to be looking after myself now whilst I'm out injured but I'll have um a good time to celebrate with the family as well over Christmas because as a footballer you don't mm -hmm. 
always get that opportunity. And just lastly, a reason to celebrate a new contract. You know you're at this great club for another two plus years as a young man, 21 years, prime of his life. It's it's good good, good times. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, as I say, trust upwards and onwards, and uh, hopefully keep improving as a as an individual and as a club. Wish you well. Thanks.